Well guys, I hope you are enjoying the lessons on MySQL and uh, it is adding value to your knowledge. Let's move forward and look into the other uh, important lessons and the important other aspects of MySQL. The other important thing is the CRUD operations which we do in MySQL. So uh, people who are having little bit knowledge on MySQL they would be knowing these operations but so basically CRUD is C stands for create. We create tables and databases that we have seen before. R stand for read reading data from the using the select statement that we have been doing in this course before u stands for updating the database so which we have been seeing uh, in our operations before and d stands for delete so we have been looking on how to delete the database and the tables let's move forward and look into the other aspects of mysql let's look into the where clause so where clause is a very important characteristics which we use in mysql so let's say i have uh, 100 students in my database and i want to get all those students who have passed the exam and the student passing marks is 70 out of 100 so in this case the where clause is helpful so without with the help of where clause we will be filtering out the data from our database so let's look forward into into the code and see the real application we'll be using the students three database which we created just before this video you could check out this uh, the previous video if you have not listened to that we have three entries uh, let us just assume that the the total number of marks uh, was 500 and the passing marks is 300 and i want to get all the data of the students of the students who have uh, passed the exam so we'll be using the where clause here so i'll write a select star from students 3 where marks is greater than 299 and the results comes up as the passing marks is 300 and we wanted to get all the students data who have scored more than equal to 300 we are getting this particular result you could see ram is not included and the that particular data has been filtered out from our results and that really serves our purpose because which we wanted all the students who have scored marks greater than 300 or equal to 300 let's say i just want the student name nothing else so i can also do select name from students 3 where the same condition marks is greater than 299 we have just the names of the students and uh, so similarly we could get the preferred columns which we want to be outputted in our results let us move to the next command uh, aliases so the column name which is coming up we could uh, rename it and we can get it as the way we want in our result uh, what do i mean by that let us see let us say i want the name column here i don't want to be as name because it is not clear but exactly it is so it is student name so i'll just uh, in the output result i will try to show the uh, in the in the results that it is exactly the student name so i'll be changing the name of the column so i'll do a select name as student name from students 3 where marks is greater than 
so you can see the <coughs> so you can see the name have been updated to student underscore name and the column name has changed so we use as for changing the column name now we can do this thing without using as also we need not to use as beside the column name we can just mention the name of the column how do we want it and it would come up in the result moving forward to the next so the crud command we have seen uh, i mean the update u stands for update uh, let's say i want to change the marks of a student in my students table uh, i mean the paper has been rechecked and the name the marks of the students have been updated for so for that particular scenario we will need to update the marks in our database for no further uh, i mean the problems ahead so we'll be using the update command so we'll tell the code update we'll mention the table name set i mean which column data we want to update so set column name and update it data so it should be data and uh, we'll need to mention i mean which which column which we are referring to we'll be using the where condition where and then we'll mention the filter condition to filter that particular row and update that particular uh, column in that particular row so let's move to the editor and see the updated result so we have this particular data in our database uh, let's say Sham marks have increased from 300 to 350 and I want to change the marks let's see how to do that first i'll just do a simple select star from students 3 this is the old data now sham papers have been rechecked and 50 marks have been increased and i want to update the data so i'll do select uh, sorry update just look at the syntax we'll mention the table name and set column name so here the column name is the raw number column and we'll have to mention the updated data so update table name and table name is students 3 set column name column name is equal to updated data I mean uh, what data we want to update so instead of column name we should write the name of the column so set marks is equal to 350 where name is equal to sham is changed successfully you can see changed is equal to one let's do a select star from students three and our data has been updated so this is how which how we'll be using the update command and uh, update command is used with the where clause because that's how will be referring to all that particular row in our database the other is the delete command let's say we want to delete some data uh, present in our database I mean just a row not a table name table we have seen in our, in our example before and deleting the databases but we just want to delete a particular row from our database let's say student has left uh, that particular school and we do not require the data to be present in the database because it takes a lot of space to store all those particular data pertaining to that particular student so let's say i'll be i want to remove the data for ram so we have to write delete from we'll have to mention the table name and then the where condition so delete 
from students three where name is equal to job let enter it successfully ran we'll do a select star from students three and from uh, row has been deleted successfully so this is how we operate and use the crud operations in sql i hope this has increased your life, uh, knowledge on the crud operations and you found this video useful thanks a lot for your time meet you in the next video